Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another street photography video. This one actually covers three separate days taking photos out in London, and also at the end of the video I'm going to have a bit of a discussion with you because quite a lot of you asked to just talk about some of the images that maybe I like and a few images that perhaps I don't like from the shoot. Now without any further to say or do, let's get into the video and I will chat to you in a few minutes. You know, one thing I'm really trying to improve this year is that I want to be able to document the journey just as much as the destination itself. So what I mean by that is, obviously I take the train to get into London every single day or every other day when I go to shoot, but I never used to document that. And I always thought to myself, well, I'll just start taking pictures when I get there, it's fine. But then the more I think about it, the more I think, you know, like the journey itself is just as important as the destination. So why am I not taking pictures? Because I could be missing out on some gems here. And also when I look back later on, it's nice to see like, you know, a beginning, a middle and an end to my sort of photo album from that day. So I'm making a much more conscious effort to document the journey and not just the destination. The first thing to note here is just how rubbish the GoPro quality is as soon as you have a little bit of low light. However, the second thing is this amazing model of the Earth. This is the Royal Naval College in Greenwich and this exhibition is on until I think end of July or some point in July. Highly, highly recommended. It looks absolutely amazing. The next four images I'm going to show you, I actually took just before I started filming this POV whilst I was running one of my workshops, so I don't have any video footage to go with it. However, I'm going to use this opportunity to do a very quick plug for my London photography workshops. Now that we're all getting jabbed with a vaccine, it's a lot safer to head out. So if you wanted to do a photography workshop, then this is the time to do it. Finally, the summer is here as well, so let's make the most of that. This is a good friend of mine and a fellow London photographer, Erin. He's actually just released his debut Tokyo photography book, so please check that out. Highly recommend it. If you've been following me for a while, you'll probably know just how much I love walking. So many of my London photo walks easily span 15 to 20 plus miles. 
However, even though I'm gonna still carry on doing that, I'm gonna try something new where I will only pop out for two, three hours max, right? Now, the reason for it is because I just wanna do little short bursts of photography rather than sort of these massive mar marathons. And I don't know if it'll make any difference, but it's something that I'm gonna play around with. And this is obviously why this particular video has three days worth of images in it and not just one long sort of 20 mile day. So what did you think of that? Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully it was a relaxing, chilled out video and you had a nice cup of tea or coffee whilst watching it. As promised, let's have a chat about a few images that I liked and a few images that I didn't like and why. I'll be using my phone as reference so I can remember which photos which. So the first image which I like is actually this lady on a bike in front of like this older building. So I actually saw her coming up from the other end. I wasn't actually filming that bit annoyingly um, and I only started filming as I crossed the road and she sort of came behind me. But I kind of saw that happening in a distance. And to be honest, about a year and a half ago, I tried to take a similar photo here with a different subject. It didn't work out. So I already kind of knew in my head what I was going for. And then luckily she kind of just sort of stood there and then obviously waiting for the traffic to clear, etc. And I managed to get this photo. I mean, to be honest, I'm really happy with it. Yes, it's not gonna win any awards, but I like the simplicity. I like the contrast and I also like the subject itself. I like how she has a scarf on the head, how she's like well-dressed on the bike, sort of looking um, into the distance. And generally, I am fairly pleased with this image. It was a, it was a quite a moody edit, a bit of teal and orange as well, not too much fade. And in terms of composition, I think overall it's fairly balanced. There's nothing too much that is bothering me about that composition. Now this image has a lot of potential, but I'm, I think I balls it up a little bit because basically it's this photo of the kid and the basketball. The light is bang on, you know, the subject is great. Everything is good, but it's just the framing for me is not that great because it's almost like it wants to be a square because all this distraction on the right hand side. But then when I did crop it as a square, it just looked a bit weird. It looked like it was gonna sort of tip over. It wasn't balanced properly. So I think it has to be a landscape photo. I tried as a portrait, that's even worse. But I don't know, I just feel like on the right hand side, there's a lot of detail which doesn't seem to do anything. Now, if I had, let's say, a slightly different lens, maybe a slightly longer lens or even a wider lens, that might have created a different perspective. But I just wish that maybe I took a bit more time when I was there and tried different angles because that kid was there for ages. Like, you know, it's not like it was a fleeting moment. I guess my worry there was I didn't want to seem like a bit weird just standing at the top, like moving around, just taking photos for like 10 minutes. So I was kind of just there for a little bit and buggered off. So I think in hindsight, yeah, I would have stayed there a bit more. Overall, I love the photo. I just think the composition is not great and there's too much noise and unneeded information in the photo on the right hand side. This photo I downright don't like. Uh, this was again in the Barbican. And this was like, I would say the main square bit. But basically you've got this guy in the white jacket who was sitting just, you know, looking out on a beautiful sunny day. And then you have the architecture there, which is really striking. So you've got this tall building, but then you've got these white, um, I don't know what they are, but let's say these white say features in the, uh, I think it's a gallery, in the gallery bit. And what I was going for is to kind of match his white suit jacket with the white features of the building. However, looking at this, so first of all, obviously the skyscraper is cut out completely. There's nothing I can do about it. I tried a portrait orientation that just didn't work and I didn't have anything wider. If I did try and walk back a bit, then the guy would have just been completely lost within the scene and it would have just been sort of not worthwhile. However, it's cut off, it is what it is, but I still think he's just kind of lost within that scene. He's meant to be the subject looking out at this scene, but 
I don't know, I just have to really focus hard to find him. And the first thing that my eyes go to are these wide features of the building. And on their own, there's nothing really interesting. And if I wanted to take a photo of that building, I would have definitely done it in a different way as to not include the railings or the benches and that, all of that. Talking of the benches, one of the videos I made like probably the other week was saying how you shouldn't cut things on the edge of the frame. And that's exactly what I've done here without even realizing. As you see, there's the bench on the left-hand side, half of it is cut out. So again, it's very sloppy uh, in my opinion. So yeah, definitely could be executed better. I do think there's a potential opportunity here and I do think there is a photo to be had. However, I just don't think this is the way to go about it. What I might do is I might just go there with the zoom lens, so the 16 to 55, and then just try with the different focal lengths and just see what would work. Yeah. That's it. Um, that's all the sort of main images which I had, let's say, strong opinions on. All the other photos, they are okay, they're acceptable. I don't particularly dislike them, um, nor do I, you know, do I think they are particularly good within the collection. I think they're just average decent photos that I'm happy with. I hope this little review section was useful. Um, I'm just kind of going off the top of my head how I feel about the images. Obviously, uh, I'm open to feedback. So if you do think of anything that you want me to discuss in more detail next time, maybe, please write it down below. Anyway, I've definitely waffled on enough. So if you're still here, thank you. And yeah, see you in a bit. Have a good day, have a good week, and see you soon. Bye.